First, we'll start with the transmitter. With the screws provided, you'll use that to connect the transmitter to the shoe mount on your camera. Make sure you grab a battery plate. And you'll need SDI cables, which are also provided in the box. There's two holes at the bottom of the tear deck. You'll place the screw in the hole that's not threaded. One of them has threads, the other one does not. So slide right in and you'll just connect it. Next step is just connect your SDI. Do not connect the power until you have everything connected. Power is the last thing that you plug in. This is gonna go on your in, SDI in, there's an SDI out. Make sure that you have the transmitter on and the SDI cable in the right slot. Connect this to your camera. Have your monitor grab your receiver for the sake of the video we're gonna put them both to turn on just so that we can show you how to um, function two receivers at once with one transmitter we only have one monitor but I'll disconnect one and connect the other one after so that you can see they're both running And connect your SDI cable before you do any power. This receiver only has one slot, which is in. Go ahead and connect that to your monitor. Your battery plate goes connected where the prongs are. There is a red dot on the actual connector and there is a red dot on the actual plate and you'll slip this in here. It should slip right in. Do the same thing for your transmitter. Again, there's a red dot and there's a red dot on your connector. Plug it in. Make sure that everything's plugged in correctly. Make sure that your receiver and transmitter are both in the off position before connecting your batteries. Go ahead and turn on your monitor. And the last step is gonna be to plug in your batteries to the Teradek battery plates. There's a small light that comes on on these battery plates, when there's power, if the light is on, battery might be dead. Now that we have power, go ahead and switch on your camera. I gotta plug this one in first. First we'll start with the transmitter. With the screws provided, you'll use that to connect the transmitter to the shoe mount on your camera. 
make sure you grab a battery plate and you'll need SDI cables which are also provided in the box There's two holes at the bottom of the tear deck. You'll place the screw in the hole that's not threaded. One of them has threads, the other one does not. So slide right in and you'll just connect it. Next step is just connect your SDI. Do not connect the power until you have everything connected. Power is the last thing that you plug in. This is gonna go on your in, SDI in, there's an SDI out. Make sure that you have the transmitter on and the SDI cable in the right slot. Connect this to your camera. Have your monitor. And grab your receiver. For the sake of the video, we're gonna put them both to turn on just so that we can show you how to um, function two receivers at once with one transmitter. We only have one monitor, but I'll disconnect one and connect the other one after so that you can see they're both running. And connect your SDI cable before you do any power. This receiver only has one slot, which is in. We'll go ahead and connect that to your monitor. Your battery plate goes connected where the prongs are. There is a red dot on the actual connector and there is a red dot on the actual plate and you'll slip this in here. It should slip right in. Do the same thing for your transmitter. Again, there's a red dot and there's a red dot on your connector. Plug it in. Make sure that everything's plugged in correctly. Make sure that your receiver and transmitter are both in the off position before connecting your batteries. Go ahead and turn on your monitor. And the last step is gonna be to plug in your batteries to the Teradek battery plates. There's a small light that comes on on these battery plates, when there's power, if the light is on, battery might be dead. Now that we have power, go ahead and switch on your camera. So make sure you plug, if you're using two receivers, you'll make sure you plug in both receivers before turning on the Teradek transmitter and receiver. 
now that we have all the power running, all the cables connected, we're ready to shut everything on. We'll turn everything on. So turn on your transmitter and then turn on both receivers. Once you have everything connected <clears throat> and you've plugged in your batteries on both receivers and you're ready to go, turn everything on at the same time. And after a moment, she'll connect and you have picture. Sometimes you do have to give them a little bit. It is a wireless signal. It does have to connect to each other. Um, but voila. And uh, that's this receiver. Now to show you that they're both working. If I had a second monitor, it would show what's on this receiver, which also works. Flawless victory. Okay. And um, I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to set up a second Teradek with a second camera so we can transmit two different signals to two separate monitors. And we're going to do this step all over again. So first grab your camera. Grab your transmitter. The receivers. Battery plates. SDI cables. So again, first with the screws provided, go ahead and plug it in to the hot shoe mount again. Same, same concept. It's got two holes, one's got thread, the other one does not. It goes in the hole that does not have thread. Plug your SDIs. Now, remember, is an important step. The signal's coming out of your camera. So you need to plug this on your Teradek into the in port on the SDI portion. Set this aside. Set your receivers with their battery, pl battery plates. Remember, it has a red dot. Red dot. Goes into the red dot with here. Just right in. Same concept on the other receiver. Your monitor. Plug it into the import, the in port of the SDI for your monitor. Plug it into the only port that's on your Teradek receiver. Make sure that all of your receivers and the Teradex are all powered off before installing the battery plate, the battery on the battery plate. All right, once you have everything connected, all your batteries connected, SDI is connected um, in the right ports, go ahead and shut, turn everything on at the same time. Make sure your monitor's on the correct input. Once you've connected all your SDIs how they're supposed to, you put in your power, you've plugged in your batteries, 
Now it's time to turn it on. So go ahead, turn on your monitor, turn on your camera first. Once they're running and they're on, go ahead and turn on your transmitter and both of your receivers. Give them a moment to link. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes a little bit, but eventually it will link. Teradek test for 2C Media Scene 3 Take 2. Once you have everything connected, all your sources, your power, your batteries, um, go ahead and switch everything on. Turn on your transmitter first and turn on your receivers at the same time. Automatically the link. And we have picture. And as you can see, we also have picture from the first Teradek, which is still running, that we set up before. Now, we'll test the second one to make sure that this one's also receiving video. And it's also receiving video. And that's how you set up two Teradex with two transmitters two receivers, each transmitter, two separate cameras, and two monitors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at Budget Video Rentals.